Good morning, folks. Charles Best Mitchell here. Lyndon Braffitt. Caesars of Profession, episode 17, 18. 17 or 18. We reach 19. No, we reach 16. So it's 17 or 18. We lose track. But as I said, Caesars of Profession, every episode is geared towards talking about sales because that's what we love, that's what we do. This one, however, is actually, I think, the first one where our opinions are divided. Because it's the first one where we're talking about base plus commission or commission only because that's a interesting topic Linda brought up in a LinkedIn conversation too. Correct. Share it with us, let me just hear a little inside behind yeah, A few things that we've been looking at over the last couple of weeks have been um, getting from some getting feedback from getting feedback from our um, Mother, sir, excuse me, anybody in the no, no, you, yeah. you fix up. Yeah, getting getting feedback from our um, managers, CEOs in relation to base versus commission and how that particular drive is. So what I did mm-hmm. is that I put I put the word out there as to whether or not which one is better based right. upon people's experiences. Right. right? Is base plus commission better? Is commission only better? And how does that how does that instruct the, the, the drive of the sales professional? Right. right. The interesting thing has really been the feedback. Right? Yes. The feedback has been very, very varied in relation to Bob Bob from um, the US mentioned, spoke a lot about, excuse me, um, the mindset of the individual in yes. terms of how they actually go about approaching the work because he is on a small base and commission. Mm-hmm. Um, Mike from uh, Mike Allison Coaching, he said that it should have a coaching mindset because what was happening there too is we, we had a number of people who were on base and not really pushing for their commissions. Yes. Right? One particular CEO indicated that actually about two or three CEOs indicated that they have not paid commission over a particular period of time so my question was and that's crazy what is it that you guys are doing if it is that you're not being paid commission then it means that you're not selling right and if it is that you're not selling then there's a breach of contract and if it's a breach of contract then you're supposed to go home correct you're not supposed to be part of the organization if you're not moving sales regardless of whatever your reasons are for not selling yeah correct. right because of course we did speak about the week before Four weeks ago, we would have spoken as to what to do if the market isn't buying, taking into consideration all the reasons. Yeah. Right? So, the reason why we're here today is to talk about the differences between base and commission mm-hmm. combination, or base only, right. sorry, or commission only, sorry, and uh, as to what we believe are some of the pros and cons. Now, as you guys would know, I'm an independent consultant, so I am on a commission only standpoint right so for me i have to do a number of different things where every single month i have to factor out what are my activities what are my goals what is it i'm actually going to be doing and there's a target behind that so um let me just point towards you what is yeah. your take jared in relation to base and commissions i believe we must have a base for sales you believe you must have a base, must sales. Have a base in All any right. sales Why is however it i agree with the fact where you can't have a base that doesn't encourage you rep to perform. All so right. for me, I think just to have this discussion really centered, we should not only focus, if the, the conversation actually should only focus on that aspect, not if the person's not, perf- well, in terms of performance, we're not getting rid of them and stuff, but I, I honestly believe all the jobs I've had have only been base and a commission. All right. Right? Even, I know some sales managers receive base. I get a bonus every quarter, mm-hmm. but I work on a base salary now. But before in the early I did base <laughs> plus commission, which I believe right. in solely. Right. So, sorry, that's, who's the last person here? We're going to make sure that this is better than Formula One and Fernando Hamilton is going to win today's race and close the championship. Look, right? I doubt. <laughs> She's the biggest F1 fan. She's not. I can tell you so, because this, this is not about racing. No, that's that's what that's what yeah, yeah, yeah. This is better. <laughs> <laughs> no, so here, here, here the reason, right? I remember, I think the, but however, I believe in base, but the base should never be at a level where it makes the rep not want to perform. Agreed. However, the commission should be structured where it, it allows the rep to forget about base. Like, base should not be a consideration because you know that once you start selling the rhythm of it exactly so which means that you're you're, commi- you're saying so the commission should be a lot more tra- attractive than the, the base. commission should be a lot more attractive than the base Fine. so it means it means to me that the effort that the person has to put in it means that when they sell mm-hmm. if they, it i always believe your commission should always exceed the base once they hit target i think right. it's wrong where commissions don't exceed base correct however um i know one of the things we were discussing was 
and I was trying to differentiate was does it is it does it differ when it says you're selling a product versus a service? So for example, products could run out, you could run out of stock, a shipment didn't reach, that affects how you could sell. Right. So the base is important, so therefore your reps don't lose the standard of living that they had. Right. That's to me. Right. However, if you're selling a service, you don't you don't services don't run out in essence. No, your services don't run it. But what what you can do there is two things. We, Two of the organizations that I worked with before, they had service structures and they also had base, base, cut, base plus commission with products. Right? right. And both instances, what we tried to make sure and do was make sure that the commission was always very attractive for the sales rep. Okay. Even when it came down to technicians, because there, were, there, were, there was a structure where technicians would have received commissions based upon the quality of the work that they did, where it says that they didn't get particular callbacks, and when the, when the customer gave a rating, there was a commission that was attached to that at the same time. Okay. So you can, but the, 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 you, have to take, you have to take into consideration how it's properly structured. Meaning that if it is a agreement, something that's services only, you have to make sure that your commission structure is high enough so that the person is properly remunerated. Correct. You understand? So yeah, that yeah. it factors into the base and the commission at the same time. All right. All right. Now, I will say this. There are some companies out there that have a very poor commission structure. And that's my issue. That's why I think it should have a base because some companies, which I think is weird. I, so I may be wrong. I think once you structure the commission plan correctly, um, it means that if you pay your commission, it means that your company is making profit. I Correct. have been in companies where the commission structure was poor because based on what they rewarded some persons, based on the type of sale, right. they were rewarded way too much because the activities weren't revenue generated. Correct. So that's why I still believe that you must have a base yeah. in order to compensate the effort required. So right. I know a lot of persons in sales now because I know insurance is one industry where that happens. That's coming and where also it's commission based only. And it brings up a point which one of my resellers in Tobago, Barry Link, brought up, which was when you do commission only, it almost makes the reps desperate because I know a lot of us, and even my wife is going through it now, where her insurance agent is calling her every week just to renew services, but there's no value being added because sometimes these sales professionals get desperate. Yeah, so they're just, just calling and harassing right. customers instead of providing value, which is why I believe you must have some sort of base. Well, and that's agreed, but again, it's also, down, it's also now brought into what exactly is, is being sold. Now, I'll tell you this. So you have companies making mistakes on two ends, right? So right. you have companies that are, they have too poor a commission structure and then they have too rich a base structure. Correct. Right? So one, they're creating that level of desperation and two, they're creating that level of complacency. Yes. Right? So you're not moving your products because guess what? People making a living on your base, right? And then, of course, you're creating a level of desperation, watering down your, 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 your offerings value because people yeah. are being desperate because guess what is a, I can't make a living on, on what I'm being paid. And, and let me give you a story, which, which is true. So I will, I will testify to this. When Digicel Play first launched, the original sales professionals that they had, the guys who used to be out on the road going door to door, they used to have a huge base, in my opinion, and they were still given commission. And you and see here, some of them say, no, this base is good. Mm. So again, it was a it was an issue of where it's poor. So I, of course, I'm still of the opinion of base plus commission. But it, again, it must be structured. It must where be structured. It made the person hungry. When they restructured the commission, some of the reps got vexed. But they restructured the commission uncapped, and it was more incentive. It was more incentive. But they didn't want to do the work now because they already had the initial mindset in place. All right. So you have to create that. But well, for me, I think once you create the right base salary. Uh huh. And I mean, given what your market is and the type of professionals that you're hiring, right. you're supposed to estimate what everybody costs would be. And by the way, guys, when I mean your cost, I want my base to only cover your transportation issues and any other minor aspect. I don't, I'm not concerned because I'm not responsible for paying your bills, your sales effort is. So Correct. understand my point of view. I am for base plus commission, but I'm it based on work. Yeah, not your, based on you your, just randomly. Your cost something. should be all of your little administrative costs. So your phone, your gas, and those those little, those little particular things. A phone plan is three fifty. The person supposed to be on the road a hundred percent, probably three thousand dollars in traveling. Yeah. I looking at max four thousand. I pay in a month in base. Yeah. I'm not going over that. There are some companies that may actually go for five. I'm pretty cool with that, but the rest of it should really come out of your commissions. Effort. Yeah. Your effort. So and if, you, if you're making 15, 20,000 from a job, 75% of that better be commissioned. Yeah. Or at least minimum 50. 
So that's why I say comedy viewpoint. So to me, I since I stay to my points, I would, I would love to hear why you think people should be on commission only. I well, here's oh, the thing oh, too. Some points for some like for instance, one of the things that um, one of the things that Mike and, and just on, by the way, for those of you listening, just give us a. A, a comment or send us a thumbs up if you agree if or if you are base plus commission if you're commission only put dc and so put dc true. and and c yes parker you tell us why so true yeah so with the commission only it does a number of things but i, I would i will say this first yes. if you're going on commission only you must have a particular coaching culture you must have a sales approach and you might be, that person needs to be trained to understand that this is not the type of job where it is a um, how should I say you don't want to water it down by having a hustle and how should I say this way your level of sales etiquette right. and discipline has to be high especially if it is you're going to be on commissions only yeah all right correct um, the good thing I like out about commissions only as as an independent consultant is that when you actually get the ability to close the opportunities it is a valuable thing so let's say for instance when you're looking at real estate yes it is a long sales cycle but when it's closed it closes at a high value correct right because their percentage payout is much higher okay but then what about the case where if you now start in real estate which is commission most of jobs are commission only should the person be paid a base temporary actually you know what so let me let me let me let me um and I will agree to that point and I'll tell you what the insurance industry actually does. Right. What they do is that they, they actually allocate a budget of about right. six to eight months for a new agent. I'm not sure if this is done for, for real estate. Right. But for a new agent, they, put, they allocate about six to eight months that goes towards that person. Correct. Right. So they're giving you, they are actually paying you right. for a particular period of time to be in the industry to learn and to understand but it stops after a particular period so whether that's for six or twelve months they are going to be doing excuse me they are going to be funding you to be able to grow and build and build in terms of your sales base after that however you are straight up on commission okay i agree with that so yes so there are there are instances and i would agree that especially within the first six well again it all it all depends upon what you're selling and how fast it actually moves yeah that you develop a, a structure where you do support that person financially to a point and then as a matter of fact i also remember and this isn't this isn't the immediate in terms of sales but people who are into collections yes. let's say for instance you're, you're doing recoveries in terms of yes right correct they these collection agents they get a particular uh, base for a certain period of time and then it goes back to commission only based upon what they're, it's when they build up the pipeline yeah. and it's based on the sales history so that's why i still think in all industries is base plus commission you yeah. have to yeah but again you see, if, and and here the reason why i say you must have base and commission and, and it lies on your point where you can't do commission only and i'll just mention your point Janie. um if it is that you remember if you look at the cost it takes to train somebody and have them in the organization you can't put them excuse on a commission based structure only where if anything bad happens to the month they're unable and then that allows the con- that allows the continued efforts to suffer Correct. so i believe it has to have a base that allows them some very thin buffer mm-hmm. and i i as i say not to be comfortable but again and for me it should be gradually taken away over time over time so like right. all right let's give an example say you hire someone for a job and i'll pay you ten thousand for the first six months and then it goes down to five thousand which would just cover only a bit expenses once you build up yourself any pipeline that's good and then some as, as we would have just said some companies remove it all together but yeah what what we want to do is this let me give let me give you an hello, idea daniel, somebody... let me just read hello daniel let me just read one comment Janice said Janice said i think there should always be a base that can cover basic needs along with a commission package i think it's important i think the important thing is looking at the hr aspect and choosing the right person who has Correct. the drive and then during the training period there should be a full salary yeah yeah correct jenny sorry jenny james today also i remember too when we were in when i was in dhl the first three months of your package started off with your full as full. if you were paid full commission right just to get you into that mood and i think it will get the person excited so that when you lose it on the fourth month you start if you don't get it on the fourth month you start to think no let me get everything into gear yeah. to make sure I succeed. And um, the, the person who mentioned something there about training, um, that is also very important because yes, performance management during the person's probationary period is very, very important. Because 
if you're realizing that this is not working out for the individual, then it, it's, it's wise to make a decision very, very early within that thing as to whether you want to either extend or not even bring the person on board at the same time. Correct. Right? So I have a couple. Um, so let me give you a, a live example at Massey. Um, their commission, their base and commission structure is 40-60, which means 40% is really along the lines as to where your base is. Right. 60% is along the lines as to where your commission structure is. Right. So you know, just now we were saying 50-50. Correct. Within Massey Technologies Infocom, it is 40-60. 60, 60 on your commissions and 40. And the good thing is that the commissions are also uncapped. What is it that we had the ability of doing at the same time was developing a... Um, an incentive structure that wasn't just monetary and this came up uh, I was going back and forth with um, Bob Krabas, Mike and I can't remember the one other person there where yeah. we spoke about a, a couple of things and I, so I'll just mention here no, monetary versus monetary if you have particular things in there like trips, prizes, lunch and gift certificates because some companies commission only. well you could do a commission only but you could also factor it into because remember the, the, key, the key point here too is that people will not receiving commissions right right so then so, my, so then, as you said was anybody fired because if they say they haven't paid all no. commissions so that answers that question that means the base real nice the base was too nice so that, that's really brought up the question so listening to these people and saying well i have blended i haven't paid commission so what is driving these people to really sell you understand thank you so um so instead of giving a high base you can have an attractive commission but the commission, as I say, doesn't always have to be one way. It's always money, money, money. You can do certain things that people hit certain levels yeah. and they receive. We, we did things like, well, at the time, 40-inch television was big. Some, a couple guys went after that. We gave trips to, 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 the, to the U.S. and to, the Baha- to Barbados and stuff like that. People went over those yeah. things, went yeah. after it. Yeah, excited for those things, correct. So those things are really important when it comes down to monetary versus non-monetary. Also having a balance. As we were just saying, too high a base will create complacency and that's the worst thing that you want especially if you're not doing a very good job in performance management thank you but uh, so it goes back why i think my point is valid where it must have a it must have a base and i, I would agree i think a base because I've, I've lived on a base in most of my instances but it i know must have now, a base. being an independent where it is commission only is a different mindset i have that's what's not gonna yeah, ask you it's a different mindset altogether it's, it's a different mindset altogether you know what you work you know what the work involves morning adana another commission only person she's a commission you could ask her why she why she thinks she is commission only no yeah because adana does consulting and stuff she's a coach she's a business coach all right so adana if you're listening as they say our argument goes on paying commission only or base plus commission for sales professionals i like base plus commission Linda and probably yourself, you do commission only because you'll get paid when you do work. Yeah, and so, the, the, payout, the payout of what it is that you actually do um, is extremely high. As I said, you, you just, just to go back to before you came down, the, the example that I was using was along the lines of uh, uh, real estate. Yeah. Right? Um, also. Uh, but again, real estate commission is high. Remember when you found out what the percentage high. was? It's extremely high. And yeah. both of us said the same thing, just being on sales. Yeah. And yeah, Adrian will definitely be a commission only. Because he did it from cars and everything that he's doing now, Adrian. That's correct. Yeah. No, but you're correct. Like, if the commission is high enough, it's attractive. But again, if I want to go into the real estate industry, I think uh, anybody, I still think there has to be a buffer period for the person to build up. Because That's it is how yeah. long? That's correct. Because remember, there's a sales cycle. It takes three months for a home to close in Trinidad yeah. Yeah. on average. And that's just some industries because mm-hmm. again some other companies pay commission when they can't pay for the service when the service is delivered right which is a big difference because that's when the consumption takes place that's when the revenue starts generated right so to me i cannot and i know what dana and, and adrian and all will agree with Lyndon, but i still agree if you're a consultant yes it's commission only but if you're working in an organization you have to pay a base i think it's wrong to pay to not uh, i think yeah i think you have to pay a base i think it's wrong to pay um, a commission, commission only. only. I think it's very wrong to pay commission only. Yeah, you see, that's the thing. I, I may not go the, 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 the stance of either whether it's right or wrong. I believe certain, com- certain organizations may have their approach, but as to whether their approach is working for them, I know we know someone in the. We know someone. We have, we have a mutual friend, and um, in that particular space, uh, one of our areas is commission only. It's not, I don't know if it's really working out for mm-hmm. her, but I, you see, again, too. This also goes back to something that we're also very passionate about when it comes down to your coaching aspect, getting the right people with the right mindset. As a matter of fact, Adrian mentioned it there, right? Right. Adrian, I think Adrian would have done work in the automotive industry. 
I think 90% of the automotive industry is base plus commission. Right. There is one or two in which industry, industry automotive? automotive yeah. I think automotive is commission. No, 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 no. They're not one of them are commission only. They do base plus commission. What? Yeah. Okay. Base okay. plus commission, right? And um, there are one or two organizations within the automotive industry that are or that are commission only. And it works. There's a friend of mine who used to work Suzuki. At Suzuki was based, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, Suzuki was based plus commission. But when he was at BMW, um, excuse me, um, that was commission only. That worked for him. Right. So again, it comes down to the mindset. Every structure has its benefits, its pros and cons. But I also, I really believe that the, the, the organization needs to put certain, certain things in place. You have a buffer for the organization, so I would not, I would definitely agree with that. Right. But if if you if you if they have realized that listen, it works out best for us when the right people are on commission only. They have that particular drive. They're their own business owners, that type of thing, and they go after it. Then they can stick with that until they realize that they need to change the formula. Okay. All right. Whereas you have other organizations will say, listen, we believe in giving someone giving the people the ability to take care of their monthly needs which is their travel and everything else so we give a base and the base could be x percentage as i was saying at massey it's 40 percent and the commission structure excuse me is one way it has the ability to, to surpass and you don't put caps so let's ask you a real question and i mean for adrian adan and everybody there let's ask you a real question do you think people who work for commission only are better sales professionals than persons who work for a base and commission mm. Ah, that bet. You see, that word better is subjective. <laughs> no, that's that's a legit thing. I think because a, I agree with your point. If I think you have, have somebody who's commissioned, yeah. they have a better mindset. I think they have okay. a better mindset. They may but have they better, be better salespeople. Okay, they may have a better mindset um, in terms of how they how they organize their they you know they become more structured in terms of their skill set. Right. Yes, to an extent, um, but really, and truly as to whether they are a better salesperson, I might be a little bit hard pressed to say. I, I'm not sure. What do you think? I agree with you with the mindset, but I also think it doubles down to your, your success in terms of sales. Not in right. terms of numbers generated, right. but in terms of if you could show, even on base, I'm still hitting over 100% and 50% of my commission. Right. Right. But again, if you're commission only and you're saying, well, it's not everyone to hit, then again, it that's all depends on, on your success that's, rate. That's correct too, yeah. Because at the end of the day, I remember we were doing our training and everybody was older than me. And how I immediately got everybody on my side, I explained my sales history. Right. And everybody was like, oh, okay. Right. Let's, we, so we, we know this person have a kind of caliber behind him. Right. So I think it's once you, once, you, so once you show your success and you show, well, this is what I've done in terms of my career, then you're able to get it. Yeah, I think somebody responded. Adrian is saying, no, I don't believe so. It's industry specific. I've experienced both from many people with ethic. It's important. And of course, as yes, Adana said, it's all about the mindset more than anything. Yes. Once you have that hunger on your mindset, you win. Yeah, it, and, and, and as I said, it, it, I, you see, because I've, I've worked with so many different sales professionals in many different industries, both straight commissions and, right. um, and I've seen where you have people who are top performers in a commission only structure top. and you're wondering, well, what the hell going on with the others? You understand? But again, it's all down to mindset and discipline, right? Whereas I've also seen in our base and commission in our organization, Extreme top performers and other other people who just sitting down, scratching their ass, not doing anything. So happy, happy with this. Happy base. with this base. Yeah, you know it's funny too. Sometimes the base is not even enough, but they've they've so they've so worked themselves into a mode of they, they reduce they reduce their living yeah. to fit the base. <laughs> which which again, no, I would know? find up with sitting in a hard beat. And, and then they're always talking about they had to go there and hustle. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you tell you hustling if it is your work? Your work is right there for you. Uh, yeah, sense. I can't so, understand that. Yeah. Yeah. So it so it it really comes down to the mindset, and I would always say this. You know, you and I we always have this 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 um, thing where it comes down to also the the leadership, the management is also very yep. important to make sure that the performance management, but not just to manage people to say well they're not doing good, but to really incentivize them, encourage them mentally, yep. have them thinking, and wanting that. You would have seen Mike go. Mike and I go back and forth on that particular post on was maintaining a coaching culture that we know that is not does not exist. I will say right now, and maybe all the organizations that I've spoken to. Yeah, I would agree with you. I you know, sir? even even I'll I'll be honest. Even for where I am mm-hmm. in Samsung, for what we try and do with the promoters, it's still like it's something that we 
have now started to try and do with the team in yeah. terms of let's not try and do the same thing all the time but always keep adjusting our approach because we want to make sure and do as much value out there in the market so even back in when we was in Digicel, even in DHL and some of those things, I don't think enough emphasis is, is placed on creating the right culture for persons to want That's to correct. succeed yeah, yeah, and for yeah. persons to be, I would say, naturally aggressive, not mm-hmm. forcefully aggressive on customers in order to bring about the best results. That's so, correct. Yeah. And I, as I say, that is, <coughs> excuse me, that is the, the most important part of it. Developing a coaching culture yeah. is really, really important because it gives those people and. Uh, a, re- a reinforced idea as to what they're all about what is it that they have to achieve on a daily weekly monthly basis so to wrap it up just so everybody listen especially if you're a sales professional if you are going into an organization that's commission based only you need to ask a good bit of questions to understand what's the mindset what's the culture what's the product and services being offered have they ever run out of product and services who, how much how much of percentage of the team is actually performing because that gives you a mindset closing cycle all those yeah, things, all those all things those because things that lets you know how long your run rate is going to take how long before you build a rhythm rhythm into the business so definitely keep that in mind if you're in a base plus commission i would say it still applies to the same questions mm-hmm. i just think of course another question to add is when is commissions paid out that's important well, when you close the sale or when the sale is delivered that's a big difference that's a big difference too yeah because remember sometimes you close Use close a car sale, but remember the thing is only when the car is delivered to the client. Yeah, and then some organizations have the organization. even though it's delivered is when it's paid. Yeah, right. So if the customer doesn't pay in two months and you have they have a and it's a three month period, then your commissions is, is withheld until yes. that particular time. Correct. So that's it for us for this week. Um, we are working on something big. You're just gonna see us hashtag something for June twenty nineteen. Just keep that in mind. But we're gonna have our next sales as a profession mixer first week in November. First week. We'll in give November. it the exact date. We just have to work out the match right now. But that's it. Lyndon Braffitt, Jared Best Michelle, sales as a profession. We love sales. We just like talking about sales. We think there's a huge market for it with a lot of experience. A lot of experience. So if you have any questions on sales related, message us, let us know. We love to help you. See you all next week for another sales as a profession. Peace.